Hope you guys all do well. I actually have a little thought that I wanted to share with you guys. Something that came up after the Paddle Mua, after something kind of reiterated after looking at the results of the Gorge Paddle. And I'm really starting to wonder this whole foil versus sub thing. What's the difference? What's the difference between surfing and foiling? Downwind supping and downwind sub foiling. And after my experience that I that it's been a while on my downwind sub, it really it kind of created a little bit of a moment of clarity. And yes, of course, I'm guilty to the charge, definitely foiling more than supping. Yes. But something got me and then we had that big swell and we surfed a lot that weekend and i don't think anybody was foiling during a swell like that so then it kind of got me thinking what's the difference between surfing and foiling or, or there can we catch the essence of that and what i really got me going it was the thought that with the downwind sop even though it is slower than foiling and it, it's more of a straight line than down in foiling, I felt like I was more in touch with the water. I was more engaged with the bumps and using my paddle and kind of everything seemed to be more engaged and closer to the water. And the same thing kind of feels in surfing. When I surf a wave and I glide on the surface of the water with my surfboard and I am carving down the face of a water uh, of a wave or trying to get barreled I feel like I'm more in touch and more closely engaged with the wave itself while with a foil I feel like I am more like hovering over it I don't know if you guys know what I mean or if you guys ever had that feeling or or can even uh, you know I imagine or think about what, what I'm trying to say because it's not an easy thing to really figure out is that yes of course and you're saying and I get it you guys I get it you're saying yes but there's guys that are doing all these white water banks with a foil uh, and trying to do that but you know what I, I don't think it's the same it actually it's not the same at all and we do see the pictures coming out from the guys uh, down in Tahiti getting barreled on six foot perfect left and I'm thinking to myself, is that, does a wave like this need to be foiled? Is that asking to be foiled? Sure, I bet it's a lot of fun, but I'm pretty sure that's all a toe in because I can't see myself or anybody actually doing a paddle in with a foil underneath in a wave that is pretty latchy. So, so that's kind of like the questions there. And then I'm looking at the results at the gorge and the participation rate in SCP. And I'm thinking like, yes, everybody wants to foil, but Come on, it's a paddle race. We are still in paddle racing. And I'm thinking, what's gonna happen to all the downwind races? What's gonna happen to like, a, you know, like a Paddly Mua or a Gorge Paddle Challenge or the M2O once it's coming back up, like as an actual channel crossing, everybody's starting to show up on their foils or on their wings. But uh, from my knowledge, it's the Gorge Paddle Challenge and the uh, Paddly Mua, not the Wingy Mua, not the Foily Mua, and not the Foil Gorge Challenge and all of that. And I'm thinking, if everybody starts showing up with foils, which is cool, don't get me wrong, but as far as paddling goes, those races meant something. Those races had a relevance in the SCP world, and I'm starting to be afraid a little bit that those races starting to lose their relevance. And since sub downwind foiling is not a real sport yet, or at least not a real competitive sport, it doesn't matter like the results don't really matter it's just more like a friendly gathering uh, for me as a media you know like if you have a track and field race that is was once the world championships of some sort and then you have maybe one or two of the best guys still show up after the lockdown you're thinking like well you know what happened here and that's what i'm a little bit afraid that's going to happen with all these downwind races and i really want to tell you guys that if you are love to foil just like me but get your scp out once and do a downwinder even it's half as fast as a foil you're getting such a workout you're really in tune with the waves and for me personally it really really made a difference it really it's something clicked something clicked is like yeah it is actually 
paddling and, and foiling is not is foiling is paddling it's not paddling it's it's kind of like somewhere out there in the limbo um for me everything is connected of course and and depending on conditions but uh, as far as the races go like i'd be concerned you know like over in germany there is this uh, one sub for sub festival uh, they rebranded their thing and it's now a sub and wing foil festival you know they uh, have german sup championships embedded in that festival and then they also have wing foil competition just like at the gorge but maybe it might be a good idea for races like this to maybe start rebranding themselves and thinking about maybe maybe things are like the foil and sop you know and, and bring in the foil the foil and the sop a little bit more more together and then maybe encourage the people that are foilers to also do a paddle race and vice versa so what I'm trying to say here is that we're going to have to marry those things a little bit more together. And I'm a little afraid that, yeah, I'm a little bit afraid that like the next time we show up at an M2O at the channel race, there'll be five SUP guys and the rest of it will be either winging or foiling. And then it's not the same anymore. Then it's not like an SUP, then, then the race for the SUP guys it kind of loses the value. I don't know, at least that's what I think. What are you guys thinking? Tell me down in the in the comments. Um, is this just reminiscences of a madman here? Or do I have a point? Do I have a point? Either way, I needed to get it off my chest. And I hope you guys have something to say. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.